sorry, I forgot to start recording. No, 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 it wasn't clear when to begin, so it's entirely fine. Uh, we are discussing the uh, tech tags and the holes in the tech tagging. So, and uh, trying to can, define container. You can, you can even paste the images. I added, added some informative images in the paper that show the difference between a graph and container. Um, But uh, the main difference is in a graph visualization, you show each different connection individually. In a container type, <clears throat> you bundle all items with the same connection type in a container. So all pros, you bundle the one connection type being pro. The upside is, of course, you save a lot of visual space because you don't need it to draw 20 lines when you have 20 support lines and start outlining these. The downside is you restrict the number of potential uh, link types. That's how I described it. Okay. Uh, I think it's fine to have that tag in there. We just may not expect the um, correct our researchers to do it, but it's definitely something we can add, and there won't be a lot of cases for that. So, yeah, it might be useful. Well, I would say most argument mapping tools are in one or the other usually. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I I, I think. Yeah, I think many of them will want a hybrid option. I agree having uh, uh, many choices is probably overkill. Uh, having the hybrid in a common section might be good enough. Um, and let's see how many hybrids we get. And then we'll be able to, I don't know. I'm, I'm also all for having a, choose many out of and keep the comment section for whatever we missed. And that's fine too. And what's technically easy uh, with Airtable? Yep. Yeah. I don't think that, I just heard yep. I don't know if there was. You can choose. also keep it easy, right? And then do a container graph order. And then order is something worthwhile revisiting and seeing why other was selected free form mm, and matrix is something different that is from the um the, the meta review paper um that's what what timothy always calls the uh, i don't know so when you have uh, multiple dimensions and you evaluate one option from multiple dimensions. One second, are you talking about viewpoint weaving here? Uh, no, matrix. Uh, matrix, yeah, 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 yeah. I said options versus criteria. Yeah, that works. I mean, I know uh, what you But mean. it's not, it, it, yeah, I mean, uh, we know what we mean, but maybe we should be a yeah. bit more clear for external people. That was a first approximation. Uh, table view. Uh, but it's usually options, right? Uh, well, the, the meta review cited, I think, exactly one system that did that. So it's also maybe an edge case that's not worth discussing that much. Uh, I also I don't know of too many systems that actually do this. I, I know a few, uh, so not many, it's true, but a few. And I think it's an important case. Mm -hmm. uh, option versus criteria is a thing. <laughs> And maybe let's call it that then. And then how you represent that is something. No, 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 let's call it, this is about visualization, right? This is clearly about visualization. Uh, it's also a feature, right? If you allow to link these two and evaluate them as such. And by the way, should we call that this tool or representation style? The reputation system is a feature and maybe that's different. And the decision support is a feature, but the linear threaded graph container matrix, mm -hmm. those are really representation style for options. Mm -hmm. And so maybe we should distinguish that. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's call those features. OK. 
Okay. That's a gain. I added an explanation of Delphi. So that's probably, is that a, is that a feature then? Because we say problem, but decision support is clearly in the same category as forecasting. It's, they're both features, or maybe I sh we should call decision support a problem space. And reputation, reputation systems is a feature, but I'm thinking, yeah, decision support we could put as a problem space. Correct. So like I said, only... originally, like reputation system is already the solution space, yeah. Whereas I think I mentioned that as well. Yeah. But then knowledge graph is that problem space. <laughs> mm, uh, that depends how you interpret it, right? Yeah. I'm not sure those are problem space. Not if you phrase it as knowledge graph, but if, of course, if you have a graph uh, representation style of a knowledge system, or like that's a representation. That's a okay for me. Knowledge graph is more of the underlying data model. Uh, but then it's a then it's a feature, right? But yeah. that's not what we intended here. We did want to split up the problem space, but then you need to define it as a problem, which it would be like a knowledge man management system, like knowledge management. Mm, okay. I agree knowledge management is a problem space, but I'm not sure there's perfect overlap with knowledge graphs. I'm actually quite sure of the opposite. I think there are many knowledge graphs that are not, like you can totally have dialogue mapping as a knowledge graph or uh, Wikidata is a knowledge graph and it's clearly not uh, knowledge management. I'm just wondering whether when we put this in there, the original thought was knowledge management. And we just mm -hmm. did knowledge graph and gave the definition of knowledge graph and kind of got off the. They also yeah. need to. They don't need to overlap. The whole point is they're different. Yeah. If they're exactly the same, then you then it doesn't matter. But they are different, which is why. I I think there's there's an intersection. There's a there's a significant intersection, but there's also significant symmetric difference, on which either side. They need to be separate. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we want to make the knowledge management the problem space and knowledge graph a feature. Yeah. The numbers, I'm not going to worry about the numbers here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, knowledge management. Uh, the numbers can just be a formula. And knowledge yes. management doesn't overlap enough with thinking tools and node apps. Uh, thinking tool, I think a lot of them are um, a lot of them are individual, but not necessarily. Um, and they're very general purpose. Knowledge management is uh it implies multiple people or groups oh it's certainly it's certainly multiple it's 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 there's there's this subset called personal knowledge management which for me goes into thinking tool and, and node apps uh mm -hmm. but but and and yeah i guess pkm is a subset of knowledge management but for me it's distinct uh first what's going to break all that is that they're start add collaboration tools on most of those and in Rome and stuff, but yeah. That's how I understand problem management. Now, this is just me. Maybe others want to discuss to have other visions of what knowledge management is. <laughs> uh, it's one of those not seriously well defined terms. <laughs> no, I but uh, keep it, now. keep it not. I mean, the point again, initially, don't try to overdefine and keep it as broad as possible. And then that, that's how you analyze data. And then if, if it becomes meaningless, you'll see that as part of data extraction. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, when we're looking at all the systems that fall into those categories, it'll be exactly. easy to divide them up a little better. So I think when I think of knowledge graph as a problem space and not as a feature, it's kind of structured 
uh, encyclopedic data to be used as a basis for reasoning. When, when you treat it as a problem and not a feature, mm -hmm. but you just described it as a feature, like what is the problem? The, 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 the problem is having a data representation for, um, it's, 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 you want to have either people or machine to have a shared ontology uh, and you are define mm -hmm. you, you you're using you, you you're doing a structured representation of that ontology yeah but that, that's 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 the solution so i i would say that the problem of knowledge no, the pro the pro there's probably information overload trying to keep track of knowledge and trying to be able to share knowledge efficiently that that's what i would call the problem and if that is true like creating this completely books in the library and giving everyone access to them yes that's a solution that's it yeah, interesting um, because, yeah, I'm trying to see, is the shared ontology a basis? Because the way you defined it, it feels very, very general, any shared knowledge. I may be wrong. Um, here, I, the, the fact that it's a knowledge graph is it's a shared knowledge, it's structured. And, and I think that's important. Uh, yes, yeah, you can add the structured part, like how to structure uh, large amounts of knowledge. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. I'll, I'll put the that def definition in uh, uh, that represent knowledge. You know, that's actually correct. Knowledge graph includes a way for both you to understand and reason about its contents. That's the how. Uh, a knowledge graph. Okay, let me let me start from scratch and see how I write it. Knowledge. Um, we're able to share. Uh, I I would even add large and evolving. But that's may or may not be true. A large evolving uh, base of structured data. Uh, sorry, that's what came out of my brain, and I didn't register enough your input. Apologies. Can you repeat? Stephen. Yeah, my laptop is, I need to reboot, let me see. Um, uh, can I see what you write down? Yeah, uh, I said a way for a group to share a large evolving base of structured data used as a basis for reasoning. I, I wouldn't say a group. I, I don't I don't see why you would make it so. I mean, I, I okay. researched for a long time personal knowledge management. It's, it's as relevant. But yeah, indeed, you already want to distinguish it from the like from tools like Rome, et cetera, or? Yeah, for me, Rome likes or some thinking tools. Yeah, personal knowledge management is distinct. Um, but- Yeah, a subset. Okay, but I'll, I'll remove for a group, it's fine. For me, it's almost implied by large, because if it's large enough, it's beyond Correct. personal. Correct, but personal knowledge management is also a massive issue. <laughs> Yeah, but well, for me, PKM falls in thinking tool, no doubt, but then we should add PKM explicitly here. Organize and manage ideas, thoughts, and collections of knowledge. Includes personal knowledge management. Make, let's make that explicit. You're no longer sharing. Um... Oh, yeah, evidently, you're, you're sharing your whole screen and not the... No, let me do it. I think then Lee's a bit distracted. <laughs> it happens. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, sorry, I had a work thing come up. It happens. <laughs> So yeah, I, I added. Yeah, actually, it's actually interesting because there is a distinction, right? Thinking tools are need more like um, brain dump ish oriented, with yep. a hopeful result of constructing knowledge. Whereas yep, knowledge yep. management systems are more uh, um, creating structure up front, and then play. So actually, they are somewhat different, even. I think they are, uh, but it's true. I've seen. Uh, very, very, very small number of um, unstructured, non-personal knowledge management, but I don't think that's a significant category. Mm -hmm. But except, okay, not except, it's something else again. Where do we, where would we fit Wikipedia? Just for me, knowledge management. <clears throat> yeah. The, I said usually around the problem solution space, but for me that defines. I mean, it's a knowledge graph, right? Because also. it's. I, I would say yeah. DB, the DBpedia part is. <laughs> yeah, but that's like the underlying data of. I mean, there, there's a there's a page content structure on top of it, but. The, 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 what I'm yeah. saying is most of the data in, in Wikipedia is freeform. There is structured data in a lot of the pages, which is actually not in, getting more and more significant, but that emerged from a, a primarily freeform solution. And, and I would separate the two, the fact that it evolved into a hybrid. But the original Wikipedia, before there was the side box, um, because it's a thing, and but I, I, you're right. Right now, Wikipedia includes the DBpedia section, which is more, which it totally is a knowledge graph. I would say. So we would get both tags, I guess. But what I'm saying is, I'm not sure that Wikipedia, the or without the structured data, with like take out the knowledge part of Wikipedia. What's left? Would I call it knowledge management? Uh, no, because uh, for me, knowledge management is very, and so I need to make that explicit, it's very directed towards people getting a single answer. Like it's organizations who want to make sure that all the lessons learned are together. And if somebody needs an answer, they can go to the knowledge management base and okay, here's the official company view on this. Or maybe it's, here's what we know we've done, right? It can be lessons learned as it, maybe it's not fully a single answer because there's many experiences, but it's a trusted source of truth for uh, a group to, with a common goal. Now, is that essential or is that just how it's used? But it's certainly, for me, part of the problem space of what knowledge management is. Uh, first, do you agree with that before I start writing it? I don't, I don't think having a hierarchical source of authority is an essential part of knowledge management. I as think a problem. That's an aspect. Like yeah. Yeah. OK. I, I, I don't think, I, I wasn't emphasizing the hierarchical, but I'm saying there is something a bit single point of view, like, no, not single point of view. There's an obligation of convergence in knowledge management that is not necessarily true in some other tools. Like Wikipedia doesn't have an obligation of convergence. It has an obligation of neutral point of view, which is totally different. Yeah, but it sort of has a canonicality and then rules to negotiate so that you have one source, you have one information. You can dig down and see what the debates were in the past, but you have one answer. Yeah, but, but in one page there can be, well, some people believe this, some people believe that, some people believe this, and it's not, it's up to you to decide. Yeah, but uh, isn't that knowledge? But I don't think why, knowledge why, management why? requires finalization on those yeah. things, right? No, exactly. What, what do you define as knowledge? Because I mean, the fact that there's five opposing views summarized on one page, I would define as knowledge. And that's exactly okay. what. Okay, okay. It's uh, not truth, truth management. 
like systems that try to identify truth, I would call it something different, and that's more like decision support systems, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Most most knowledge management I've seen is enterprise knowledge management, and it's like often like company rules, past experience, and decisions. And yeah, there's a big decision support. Like we've done it this way because of this experience, and if we are going to revisit that, well, here's all the past stuff you have to take into account. Here's all the past lessons learned you have to take into account if you revisit that rule. But there's a notion that if you don't know the rule, here's where you yeah. find it. I mean, another way I might think of knowledge management is efficient knowledge accumulation, right? Which is one of the problems I want the CD to solve. Um, and with that, you have to have that kind of curation where you get it down to the important essences, right? And if, if there's still debate in there, there's still debate. So not necessarily. I mean, that's a whole thing of separating problem space from feature space. Curation could be one way of dealing with that, but AI, like in automatically aggregating random data and having some, I mean, that could be another solution. You shouldn't try to overdefine these things. No, but uh, curation, I don't mean in terms of the process in which this is resolved from. I mean, it's a subset in the sense that the whole point is to weed out unuseful information and favor useful information. Knowledge. Um, yeah, for, for me, there's there's a, a, an underlying goal of convergence, but you're right, maybe Wikipedia does fit in it. Um, the problem in that broad, broad interpretation is that all of the tools listed in the, uh, the thing are going to be knowledge management tools. So there's something to say, like, if, if you want to create an, a target category, it might make sense to say, if something's not that, then is it just more general purpose knowledge management or whatever? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, I mean, a, a, a thinking tool is, yeah, knowledge management, opinion polling, yeah, knowledge management. Yeah, the, 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 um... yeah, but there was something specific to knowledge management to, to corporate knowledge management I wanted to capture, which is this, it is an authority, like you expect to find answers to your questions, not just here's all the past data and decide what you do. It's okay, here's the past data and this is what we've collectively decided to do for now. Here's the, 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 the in kind of in turn, it's a categorization, problem categorization tool. Why problem categorization? I, I agree with the, the first part. I don't know why you pulled in that. Uh, indeed, I think the goal of any knowledge management tool is to become like a centralized source of authority on a, a subject. That's a good uh, way to put it. Be it for yourself, it doesn't matter, or be it for a group of people. That, I mean, that, that, that stays the same. Um, But why decisions? I, I don't see why you keep saying this. Because Wikipedia is an knowledge management tool, right? It doesn't, I mean, it, it just okay. provides. The, the, okay, the, the, there's two competing definitions of knowledge management. One that is, nah, is Wikipedia. Like, where would you play Stack Overflow? That's a very good question. Uh, that's knowledge management. That's a very good one. Yeah, it is knowledge management. You're right. Okay, so there's no obligation of a single answer. Uh, no, that. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Um, okay, let's let's put let's make that explicit then. Uh, G the non-structured part of Wikipedia stack overflow. Yeah. By non-structured, you mean the non-formalized of some sort. What do you call structured and what do you call unstructured? Because I mean, pages that link to one another, hyperlinks are structured in my book. 
Ah, uh, the non form. Uh, and remember again, this is a problem statement, not a solution. So it should be more like Stack Overflow tries to address this problem of developers repeatedly trying to find a solution to a problem. Like, where do you store that knowledge on how to solve a certain technical issue? And that's why it's relevant to split them up because indeed uh, Stack Overflow is definitely not a knowledge graph. Correct. Well, I'll add, I'll add the corporate. Not rule base, but. Uh... Mm -hmm. How do you how do you do a carriage return in the middle of a thing again? Uh, control and traffic. Yeah. Thank you. Nope, not on the Mac. <laughs> Option enter. Oh God, it's I lost it. One second. I don't know if you lost it as well. Okay, it's cool. Uh, let me try Alt. <laughs> Alt Enter. <laughs> okay, so I think that was useful conversation. Thank you. This is almost self defined. This I'll get into. Um, you point uh, tag type of multi graph is still listed as prom, so that needs to become a um, what do you call it feature? Or... No, I, I we I think we defined it in a way that it's the problem base. The, 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 this was the knowledge graph as a feature, but this is knowledge graph as a problem. It's the use as a basis for reason is part. Sorry, if, if I recall correctly, we only had knowledge graph before, which was listed as a problem. And we started discussing that actually there's such a thing as knowledge management, which is a problem definition, yep. of which knowledge graph is one possible solution, feature. Oh, so then, what I knowledge then what is knowledge graph as a problem? Okay, no, 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 that's, I, uh, I didn't hear that. And um, I'm not then sure. Why is knowledge graph as a feature then? Oh, that doesn't exist. And we don't have features. Well, we have fe we have one feature that we just added, <laughs> reputation system. We could have knowledge graph as a feature. I agree totally, but the basis for reasoning, uh, or maybe I should even say basis for automated reasoning, but maybe that's a bridge too far. Uh, but uh, for formal reasoning would be maybe better. How's that formal reasoning? I, that that's a goal for me. Uh, the, the 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 fact that you're like knowledge management, you're creating a knowledge base for people to have access to a kind of canonicalized. And I think you're right. There's a canonicalization aspect. Um, let me even make that explicit. Um, Structured knowledge. Um, so knowledge graphs is the problem you're describing as automated reasoning. Like we need automated reasoning of the problem. We need formal reasoning. Uh, I could imagine a case where we use a knowledge graph for like, okay, look at the Delphi method. The Delphi method, I think it's its own thing. It's prediction. It's prediction as a problem space, but it's a good example of um, and so, yeah, it would be separate, but it's a good example of a knowledge graph. It's structured in its own way. Yeah, but, but the Delphi method is a So the Delphi method is a method, so it's a feature or a tool, but why does it exist? So what's the problem? Yeah, it's, it's you want to be able to reason formally about 
uh, many options. And in this case, it's not about, um, it's a ranking, the, the, the goal of Delphi is only ranking. The, the formal part is only the ranking. I would I mean, say the goal of Delphi is decision making. Yes, totally, totally. But what I'm trying to say is there is a space where you're building a knowledge graph for formal reasoning. And yes, most of those cases are automated reasoning, but I'm saying not necessarily because you can have unautomated formal reasoning around the knowledge. But why do we need formal reasoning? What's wrong with, why do we need it? Um, it is, the, okay. Uh, it's, it's, I think that when you're building a knowledge graph, you have much stronger structure uh, requirements than when you're building a knowledge management system. Where did these requirements come from? They fulfill a certain use case. What's the use case? Formal reasoning. <laughs> uh, partly automated, not necessarily, but partly automated. It's you want to be able to apply a formal method. And yes, I would even say algorithm, whether or not it's, it's implemented in software, to reason about what you have in your knowledge graph. It's not just it's there for a human to interpret. It's it's there for a formal process to work on it and arrive at a solution and arrive at further knowledge. So there's a formality requirement to, to knowledge graphs that is not part of. So maybe maybe you're right. Maybe that is a feature. You're still yeah. Everything you're saying right now is describing it as a feature, as a system that addresses something. So. I mean, I could use that maybe if I want to have a knowledge graph that can tell me whether or not right. World War Three will break out next month or not. Okay. And the it's problem is I need to gather knowledge based on large inputs of data. That's how I would define it. And I'm incapable of doing that manually. So it's a system that helps me uh, in, in infer new information based on large amounts of data, if that's what, what you're saying. Yes. And that would be the problem for me. Like knowledge yes. creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's add that. Let's add, autom it's almost automated reasoning. Uh, yeah, but again, that's, that's, that's the solution. No, that's like a, why, why does it need to be automated? Because it's too much work to do manually, impossible. You're right, right. right. But so that's not problem specific again, you're right. So that would be a feature also. Let, let's add automated reasoning as a feature. And I agree it's not a problem. Um, it's uh, automated inference of meaning that a very large X. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, I agree that's a feature. Um, and you're right. Okay, so then knowledge management is a problem. Thinking tools, but is that then just a question? We had scale somewhere, right? And by the way, do we have individual in scale? No, let's add individual in scale. <laughs> what is it? Oh, in person. Um, so now the question is, is knowledge management, is person, is, is thinking tool notes app just a small scale knowledge management? I think not. I think there's a goal of thinking tools, which is, I, I'm almost tempted to say progressive formalization. Um, is that distinct from knowledge management? Because that's also a goal. Of I think they're very, very related. I would almost, I mean, yeah. yeah like I said, the main distinction that I see between why I would call one thing knowledge management and the, the other one thinking tool, it's really a different approach to process, structure first versus structure, structure after. Um, 
like knowledge management for me is more like old school library categorization. You have a category and you place stuff in there. Thinking tools, it's more like dumping a brain dump, like a stream, uh, what do you call it? Stream of consciousness that you can share with other people to then maybe infer structure after the fact. Okay. If that's a meaningful distinction, that, that's how I feel it. But... Uh, this is something else. It's another category. I think it may overlap a lot with the data entry process I went into. Mm -hmm. So I'll definitely get into merging those because something's wrong. They should, there's too much overlap. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll write them as that entry process first uh, for now and add a yeah they do look similar uh, so that's my homework um, okay what I'm getting uncomfortable about is that if we look at the problem space now, we've abstracted it so much that there's no separate categories left up to a point. Uh, there's nothing that doesn't fall under knowledge management. Uh, no, that's true. But maybe that's the other, that's what I said. I think knowledge management is maybe the overarching category, but all the tools in the list should be about knowledge management. Maybe that's the point. And then this is our other category in case it's not a thinking tool. And if it's not opinion polling, if it's not to figure out, if it's none of the others, it should be knowledge management in some way or another. Maybe that's the way of uh, looking at it. Other knowledge management tool as a category, if you want to look at it mutually exclusive. Yeah. Uh. Are the tag types intended to be mutually exclusive? Some of them, yes, some of them, no. Some of them will be uh, many of. And as I said, in some cases, we'll want to have hybrid as a category. Um, but some of them should be mutually exclusive. And certainly right now, and let me, can I remove the ID? I think it's ridiculous for now. We'll add it back. And as you said, the Tim, it can become a, because I want to sort by tag type for now. Uh, ta -ta -tree. Probably good if we turned on the, um, what? If we turn on the uh, sorting filtering. Uh, what's the oh yeah i can just do this right okay, la i just hit it see if that does it there another little drop down by each column okay Okay, good. Um, did it keep otherwise? Yes. Linear through very well. Visual small group in person largest. Yes, good. Okay, now let's look at process problems we have. Decision support is a distinct problem. I think it's clear. Dialogue mapping, issue mapping is a feature it's a means do we agree uh yes that's definitely a feature and the question is what from does it even uh better it, uh, i would say it facilitates facilitates discussion like yeah discussion. yeah yeah it's 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 intended as a representation of well, no, I'm, I'm over abstracting again. How fascinating. I was going to say it's a way to represent to the group 
the state of the group knowledge and opinions. Uh, but that's also quite generic. Uh, it's like knowledge management. I abstract. I mean, it. I would really say the main goal of dialect, dialect mapping is to facilitate discussion. Like one, for me, for example, the main difference between dialogue mapping uh, and argument mapping tools is dialogue mapping is focused on facilitating one ongoing dialogue, maybe in a group. Huh? Whereas argument mapping is more about canonical aspect, more about knowledge management aspect of like actually building up knowledge that is even shared with more people past this one uh, ongoing dialogue that you, you're having. Yeah, I think there's other difference of features. For me, argument mapping is less than dialogue mapping is that in that it doesn't include opening up questions, which are also a common process, or actually I think are an essential part of a common process. But that's another conversation. By the way, I just started the book uh, on um, what's it called the enigma of reason, which is quoted in How Minds Change. It's a book by uh, Hugo Mercier and Dan Sperber. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, absolutely worth reading about what is re what is the different. Uh, they're basically making an argument that. Sorry, this is totally a parenthesis from this, but I think it's a very important one that our mind, if we think of it as having all these issues and defects and, uh, you know, confirmation bias and all these cognitive biases, why would something so bad evolve if it's so suboptimal? And they're saying it's actually optimal for the problem it was designed for, which yeah. is a group cognition. Yeah. It's, uh, it, uh, they go into that. Hugo Messier, that's the author of Why Do People Argue or something like that. I think I read a paper by uh, with them some time ago, and I think they make a similar point there. So this, he distilled that in, in a book form now, or what? Yeah, he he's got uh, he's got another. Okay, there's a book called Not Born Yesterday and The Enigma of Reason. Those are the two main books, but I'm sure there's many articles. Uh, publications sure. is a long list. Why do you use reason? Not why do people argue? I can send the link. Yeah, I really enjoyed reading uh, their work. It is amazing. Um, I think I shared it actually many years ago as well. Possible, possible. Anyway, so I'm now um, now a big fan. So cognitionculture.net, but you, uh, he's got a Google site. It's he, he's easy to uh, still put it in. Um, uh, but yeah, to come back to the, I, I didn't see how that was relevant to okay, okay, your okay. definition of dialogue mapping versus argument mapping. Uh, yeah, uh, for me, dialogue mapping allows opening up new questions, which what, argument, what, mapping, does argument mapping do that? Not as I understand it. Okay. It's, so it's if, if, you mapping, do argument, if you do argument mapping and you uh, post a supporting premise and then someone else posts a question on that supporting premise saying, how do you know that this is true? Or does this account for factor X? Is this argument mapping or? That would I would call that dialogue mapping because uh, at the moment for me, argument mapping is very much pro con and opening up questions are not part of argument. No, no, that's uh, I, I I sincerely disagree. And we need another line on what dialogue mapping versus argument mapping is. For, I mean, it, it says so in the name dialogue mapping. It maps a dialogue, one particular dialogue. That's not the goal of argument mapping. The goal of argument mapping, a lot of times it's represented as just mapping a single argument, but the whole point is that that argument is occurs many times throughout different yeah. places. Dialogue mapping for me is mapping one particular dialogue. Uh, yeah, well, I don't I don't have that restriction on dialogue mapping and you don't have my restriction on argument okay. mapping. We'll have to come, uh, work on definitions, which is what we're doing. Um, the reason I find it useful as a distinction in terms of problem is the problem is entirely different. You don't have the problem of chemicalization, 
radicalization in dialogue mapping. It's just about facilitating the dialogue. Let, let, let's first let's first agree that uh, we need to uh, facilitation is a problem. Um, and maybe I'm making it too broad again, but uh, helping a group of people with conflicting viewpoints to but that's a problem it's 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 understand one another there's a representation aspect and that's a problem space dialogue mapping is one way to do that and that's a feature Uh, dialogue mapping, I think, can be extended to canonical, but maybe that's me. So I'm happy if we decide if we define dialogue mapping more narrowly. Um, the way I've seen argument mapping done traditionally is, for, for me, the distinction between dialogue mapping and argument mapping has always been the opening up questions. Um, but maybe I'm defining. Well, uh, argument mapping too narrowly. I'm happy with that. Uh, we agree that there is something which is canonical. Thought mapping, which for me is broader than Procon, and I think we agree is broader than Procon. But a lot of the systems I've seen are limited to Procon and don't allow like for me, what's important about IBIS is you can add questions uh, at any point. And, but for me, that's not even enough. For me, what's important is you have, you can add metacognition at any point. And I think that when we're speaking about the kind of tools we're trying to build, certainly go beyond Procon. Uh, when we speak about relevance, when we speak about that's beyond the basic Procon. Um, but a lot of tools, go in the, like Kialo for me, one of the big limitations is it's limited to Procon. And that's what I think of as classic argument mapping, or maybe maybe we should call it narrow argument mapping. We need a name for that. But whatever it is, I think where we agree is, and again, maybe that's too broad. There is an action which is, Rep representation of viewpoints. Maybe that's broader than facilitation, uh, which is, or, or I would even say, not just when you have viewpoints is a, is a broader term. There's something called representation of reasoning or reasons. And Merci argues that they're the same. And I'm really curious to see why he thinks that. Um, And there's, so I feel like we're, we've, we've gotten into a place where we're overthinking everything again, and we're, we're being too abstract about all this, because the whole point is just to give this into the, the hands of lay people who can just go tagging things, right? So if we think about really quickly, what is the, what is the problem Wikipedia is solving? I would say reference. What is the problem Stack Overflow is solving? Uh, best answer. What is the problem that uh, Quora is solving? Again, it's, you know, best answer to something. Um, so it's like crowdsourcing Isn't best Wikipedia knowledge. Best answer as well? I don't know. No, I would say reference because you're not comparing and choosing between options and, and you, you don't require like the expert on whatever to be the one who wrote it. Somebody could come along and edit it and sure it gets improved over time. But the main point it's solving is reference, right? I just want to look that up. Um, if you, you know, what are the other examples? This the canonical debate. Um, also reference, but a reference. It's not reference. Well, it is sort of reference. Yes. Reference. I of, agree. It's reference is the. Of a representation of 
reasons to believe something. Right, but as as opposed, for example, um, uh, decision decision support. Right, that's a clear distinction there. But what are other tools that we're looking at? You know, maybe reference could be broken down a little bit. I'm not sure. I'd have to think through that, but but I think that's what we do. But uh, I mean, for now, indeed, I agree on the general notion that then just keep it bigger, dumb argument mapping, dialect mapping, issue mapping, all in the same category. Um, why not? I mean, we want we want on the the solution approach side, we want to be more specific because we're trying to categorize different applica applications, right? And that's what we want to find out is how are they doing this? Are they doing it through argument mapping? Are they doing it through forum? Are they doing it through, you know? Okay, so I, I like what you're saying about ref, uh, canonicality, really, <laughs> uh, is what you call, is reference the same as canonicality question? Yeah, I think that's the goal of, uh, if it's not canonical, it's not a reference, right? They relate it. Canonical reference, I, I mean, I would say, for example, what, what is a case that might not be canonical, um, but is kind of reference? Um, and one, you know, it's more of the discussion side. And then what are you doing there? It's it's not really reference. It's not a quick lookup. It's more like a historical record, right? Um, so that's a different solution. That's a different thing. It's not reference. It's like a historical record or uh, auditing. But it is. Or, you know. Historical no, it's, it's something you're looking up because you want to access all the information. But yeah. it's not like. It's not a quick reference. It's not best version. You're not you're not choosing a best version of something, right? Ah, okay, so okay, okay. Yeah. So, so synth synthetic canonical reference. Yeah, and there's something about just looking for the answer. You just want the answer. Yeah. That's finding truth. Yeah, sort of. Not no no uh, not necessarily because Wikipedia is a good example. You're looking at all the answers. You're not expecting, uh, like if there's conflicting answers, Wikipedia doesn't decide the truth, but it's still sure. a quick lookup. It's yeah, a but it does, so because, it does so because it does so because there's maybe no yes. agreements. So it, it, if yes. there's no known truth, it shows you the, the, the state of what is known. But the goal yeah. is still to find truth. But but see that's the difference between reference and finding truth is like the canonical debate. It's more about exposing and 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 getting towards truth. It's negotiating truth as opposed to just seeing the truth. Right? Those two those are two different things. Is is a tool built to help negotiate and understand, or is it? just to give you some quick information. And yeah, the true it, it should be true. That's a problem. But that's not why users go to look at it, right? OK, I'm calling it uh, a day. Uh, one, one thing, uh, what I'm hearing here that I really want to get into is the epistemic why do we believe this is a, is a problem space and and that's a goal of the of the canonical debate beyond besides canonicality correct and we'll continue next next week i agree i think it's a but i think this needed to be distinguished. So unless others have time and we can try to, because I liked what you were doing, uh, Tim, about maybe you want to put that list down, give an attempt to saying, okay, what are the high level goals? I'll try and on my own and let's, let's, let's iterate on the list, maybe not in the uh, Google Doc, maybe on the Hangouts or something, but we need to find another way to iterate on this. This is interesting. This is really, we're merging viewpoints here.
because we yeah. all have our ways to carve out the space. And, they're and, and I think maybe like one way to do this would just everybody go and categorize a bunch of stuff and then let's <laughs> Let's see what no, we can. I, 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 approach I, is the best approach. I, I think it's worth yeah. each of us coming up with a list and then renegotiating a common list. Okay. Let's you, do that. You, need to, you really need to apply the list. It's it's really, it, it all starts making sense once you yourself start trying to apply these tags to something. It's, abs it's absolutely and then you'll true. And you instantly see it break down. You're like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. But, but so. let, let's do another iteration, please. Mm -hmm. Before we do that. It's yeah. only a week. Okay, ciao, ciao. See you. See you.